What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel, guys. We have some new mods. Yes, we got some new mods on Monday. Well, hopefully you guys have an amazing weekend watching me eat uh, a pineapple pizza. But anyways, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about some new mods that just came out. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over the new mods, but not the updates, because there is a lot of updates. Think like 19 or 20 updates on console. But anyways, console new mods for today. We got the Holiday Home Shed, Big Horse Stable, Big Sheep Shed, the Farmit Copamat 600, 50 GSL3, Bull Carrier Randon 1990 Brazil, the New Holland CR Evo Series, the NMC Timber Carrier, and the Wall Decoration Pack. Updates, we got Sedco, Case IH2566, the IBAR100, the New Holland TC5 Series, the TGS26500 IT Runner, Very Old Barn, Ursus C355, C355M, C364 by 2 the Mossy Ferguson 5700S, Kaminki, the CT6500, Weather Station, TGS26500, the Crone ZX560, Machine Shelter, the JCB Fast Track 3000 Extra, the New Holland T4, the Lamborghini Nitro, the Mega Silo Complex, and Rasky High Dump Bucket. Like I said, a lot of updates. But you know what? Let's just roll that intro and let's get into these new mods. Here we go. Okay, and so the first mod we're going to be going over today on consoles, let's see, it is the Copamat 600. 45,000 is 6.0 working meters. This is under the cultivator section. It is 15 slots, so a little bit high on that slot count. Uh, let's see, it is 170 horsepower that is required for this. Uh, let's see, options on this. We got the attacher standard, the attacher trailer hitch. Uh, where's the trailer hitch go on the back? Yep, there it is right there. Actually, it looks like you could put two on there. Wow, okay. And then back to standard wheel setup. We got standard. We got wide tires and then back to standard again. So that is the first mod for Monday. Okay, and the next one we got is the Lizard 50 GSL3, $80,000. It is only one slot, so really good on that slot count. Let's see, options for this one, there is none besides you could change the color. So of course, you know, we gotta get that pink, gotta get that pink for chance. Anyways, there is that one. Okay, and after that one, we got this one right here, which is the Ball Carry Randon 1990 Brazil. I've been seeing this thing in testing list for a while, and it's finally nice to actually see it in the game. Let's see, it is $70,000. It is six slots, holds up to 40,000 liters. As you guys can see from all those little bitty icons down there, you can pretty much put anything in there. But let's see the options for this. Let's see, we got rim color, any color. You got design color, any color. And you got main color, any color. As you guys can see, you can also do it as a bell loading wagon. Uh, the capacity 20,000, capacity 40,000, and then back to bail loading wagon. Let's see, design, you have standard 113 pink. What did it make pink? Let me uh, put it up. Oh, okay. Got some pink lines on there. Uh, blue, yellow. Okay, so that's pretty cool. A lot of options on that one. Wow. Design, standard or Rodor. Uh, that puts, that's interesting right there. I've never seen those. Okay. Um, let's see, there's that, and then back to standard wheel setup. We have standard, we have iron wheels. Those look really good. And then back to standard, uh, cover, no or yes. So let's see, with cover, how do you change the cover uh, color? Okay, so it is with the design color. Okay, so that is for the Randon. After that, we got some new harvesters. This is the New Holland CR Evo series. There's actually two of them right here. Uh, let's see, 23 slots for each of them, 285 for the 790 and 205 for the 585. Uh, let's see, this one holds up to 9,000 liters. This one holds up to 14,500, wow. Okay, let's actually go in and see what kind of options. We got capacity settings. So it holds up to 12,330 with standard. Supports 12,330, same with that one. Then increased is 14,500. Okay, so there's that design. You have clear windows or you have dark windows. Attaches, you have the rigid cutter. You have the flexible cutter. I don't see where it's actually changing in there, but there is that. Engine setup, we have the 790 Evo, which is 487. The 890 Evo, which is 571, and then back to there again. Wheel setup, we have standard. We have transports. We have twin wheels. We have transport two. We have twin, twin wheels too, crawler track, and then back to standard again. Uh, let's see, with the lower one, let's see, standard is 7,050. 
same with that and then increase goes all up to 9,000 on that one and i think pretty much all this is still the same besides the engine setup which is the 585 which is 272 the 680 which is 312 and then back to there again okay let's actually take a look at this in the game okay so here we are in game they look really really nice okay let me actually put this up real quick help window let's enter it okay looks like we got wow that looks amazing right there okay so two cameras uh let's see unfold harvester it does that the ladder goes right there uh let's see there's that the pipe goes out um let me see disable disable straw swath what does it do okay it just changes out really quickly okay uh let's see horn uh, and then of course looks like yes you can open up the front door on that okay so here we are in the inside let's turn over that engine everything turns on everything looks good engine sounds good up to 26 miles an hour is the top speed sounds really nice okay you know what let's actually get a header real quick uh, let's go over here let's go to where are we at headers and let's just get this one let's put this one right over here let's reset it there we go Okay, add that on there. Okay, turn on. Okay, it looks like everything is working good on that. I'm trying to see if I see anything. PTO looks good. Okay, this looks like a really nice harvester. Don't use New Holland's much, but wow. Can you hear the RPMs kicking up? We also got beacon light right there. Lights, one. Ooh, look at those lights right there two three three sets of lights uh let me actually get into it real quick does this all light up it looks like it does okay so that is the cr evo series really nice harvesters okay and the last regular mod for today is this one right here this is the nmc timber carriers one thousand dollars and of course you can use this with you know your pilot forks and stuff like that to put some timber in it uh, let's see but the options on this you can change the main color to anything and also this is only one slot so you know we got to go pink for chance <laughs> okay let's get into the placeable mods for today okay so the first placeable mod for today is wall decoration pack it includes let's see one two three four five six seven new things uh, we got walls all the way up from one meter all the way up to four well actually five but we also got a wall pillar and a wall cor corner these are all a hundred dollars a piece and one slot so let's place a few of them real quick there's that one and let me actually get real close to make sure we can okay there's that let's go to the wall corner uh, i can't put that one down for some reason hold on a second there we go and wall corner all right, so here they are right here. Really nice little wall sections. Okay, so that is the wall decoration pack. The next one is we got two new animal placeables to go over. And the first one is right here. This is the big horse table. It is 200,000, holds up to, whoa, whoa, whoa. Does that say 25 horses? Oh, uh, wow. I thought we can only hold up to 16 total, but uh, this might be a big game changer right here. Uh, it is 10 slots. Uh, let me actually... Put this down right here. Wow, this is a big area too. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We are going to try to get as many horses as we can real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is the horse? Probably right over here. Really nice area though. Uh, does the gate open? Yes, gate does open. Uh, no trigger right there. Where is the trigger at? Going to find it. Oh, maybe it's right here. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, 16. Okay, so it is only 16. Okay, right, so 16. Uh, let's see. We got a feed area right over the Ooh, place. We got a feed area right over here. And then, of course, we got our water area right over here. They're everywhere. Get out of my way. Okay, so that is the big horse table. I don't know why I said that in the uh, capacity. Okay, the next one we got, let's go over here. Let's go to the sheep area. This one says it is 488 sheep. Uh, let's see, it's 180,000. It is 12 slots. Uh, let's go put, and put it down real quick. And this one, of course, requires a big area too. Really nice little sheds over here too. It comes with, 
okay so let's go right here maybe yep there it is let's get a few sheep really nice this is probably where their wool gets where their wool comes out sorry i cannot speak today uh where is the gate is there a gate to get into it i don't know uh, but where is their, okay, there is their water area, and looks like their feed area is right there. Oh, they made this into, into from the easy sheds. Okay. Okay, so that is the big sheep shed. We got one more mod to go over real quick. And the last mod for today is the Holiday Home Shed, which actually includes three. There's one in miscellaneous right over here. Holiday Home Passive Income, which is $10,000. It costs four slots and also gets you $80 an hour on new farmer mode. Or then we got the decoration one, which is right here, which is $2,000, four slots. And then you got the house one, which is four, uh, four slots, $10,000. Since I have a house on there, I can't get that one, but I will get this one. So let's get that one real quick right there. And let's get the decoration one right here and put that one right there. Okay, let's take a look at them really quick. Come on. Okay, here we go. Let's open up the door. Ooh, this is a nice little home right here. Got some bananas. Nice little bit. There's no TV though. Gotta have a TV. Come on. Uh, nice bunk bed. This is pretty nice. I like this. Uh, come on. Ugh. Bathroom opens up. Wow, what a tub. All right, let's see if it's the same thing in here. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm pretty sure with the other one's gonna also have a sleep trigger so you can go to bed. Am I gonna get stuck? Don't get stuck. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that is the mod for today. Let me know which mod was your guys' favorite. I'm gonna have to say either these ones or of course the uh, new Harvester, the New Holland CR Evo series. So today's schedule, if you guys haven't already seen the FS Daily News, make sure you guys do. I will leave a card up at the top so you guys can just click on it. And then, of course, tonight at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, we'll, of course, be on Clark Farms on livestream. So hopefully you guys do join us for that. That is an amazing American map that will be coming to consoles pretty soon. Like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have a sudden, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an all-stay, farmers. Peace.